Okay, we're moving deeper in the Central Park, past the zoo, I guess. Not even a word of note of this dead person here. I would have to assume, though, if I were her, that everybody who arrived at the amphitheater would have been killed by now. Because, I mean, I'm seeing bodies of people burnt up all over the damn place. I mean, isn't that how it works? It's how it worked at Carnegie Hall. Maybe I shouldn't go this way. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're actually going to put on the show. Okay. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Humans are weak. Mitochondria can self-evolve. Stop her. She already did what she was doing. Turned everybody in the jello. Where the hell did you go? <laughs> Just let her get away, Aya. Thanks, little girl in blue. You guided. You're guiding me. <laughs> There's a chest over here somewhere. I can see it from the other camera angle. Okay, it's up in the corner. Why the hell you're not letting me see it properly? I don't know. That's a little irritating. Ammo. That's it. Hold on, I just want to see something. Is there anything down this way? That's a big yes. Damn it. It's just like a second half of the dungeon. You get past a zoo and then you're over in this section. Hope it's not as ridiculous. And there's a fight. Same enemies though? Oh, friggin' polar bear. Okay. <laughs> Ah, go away, go away, okay. How fortunate that their bodies just disappear, because it'd be a bitch to have to clean those up.
This better be something good. Nope. I didn't really need more ammo. Maybe I can use the information to the desk. <laughs> She does move kind of slowly. I think maybe this might have been a result of them creating the animation based on how quickly she moves, but then the developers found that the players across the environment entirely too quickly. So then they had to slow down her movement speed but didn't adjust her animations. Or she already kind of looks like she's just sort of jogging. So you didn't want to make her look like she like what do you look like she's speed walking it kind of because her way she, her animation doesn't quite match up with what i'd expect to see the speed she's moving you know kind of walking on ice now granted it is snowy everywhere so maybe there is actually some ice down there but it doesn't make sense in every environment Ah, what do I give up? I kind of want to keep the junks because those are useful for things. Oh, oh, okay, that's better than junk. Kind of don't want to give up weapons either. I can store weapons later on once I get back to the station. And you can use... Like my uh, the tools and stuff to take I take attributes off of one weapon and give them to another. You can really increase the power of your weapons that way. Music's changed a little bit uh, more sinister now. Now what the hell is Eve's goal? I mean. Mitochondria have to break free. Now, breaking free for those people involved turning them into a big puddle of goo. What good is that going to do her? This place is surprisingly big. I don't recall the... I didn't recall the dungeons in this game being this large. Jeez, everywhere. I experimented a little bit with the modding setup where I took the explosive shot of the M203 and applied it to the M16A2, or A1, rather. <laughs> and what I ended up with was a weapon that had the characteristics, mostly, of the M16, but it fired the explosive shot, so in some regards, in some enemies, it did crazy good damage. Others, like the snakes, it did very little damage. In fact, I damn near lost the fight. Because I just couldn't do enough damage to the, couldn't do enough damage to the snakes. I was, so there's seems like there's a lot of trade-offs when it comes to the weapon mods you're gonna want to put into effect. I guess I could counter that by ensuring that I always have two weapons on me: one that has the explosive shot and one that doesn't, like carry that M9 pistol around. So that way, whenever I encounter something that doesn't take the damage I'm expecting it to from the explosive M16, I could switch over. Won't do quite as much damage because I'm not putting as much effort into keeping that weapon powerful. But it could be, uh, could be a way of countering that. I figured there must have been something down here. That's why I came back. I figure using the mod tools, I'll be able to, in fact, I got a mod tool, <laughs> I'll be able to go and apply these stats to newer armors as I pick them up. 
as the uh, game progresses. So I shouldn't be too bashful about applying these stat bonuses as I'm play playing on, you know. The weapon mods I'm a little more skittish about on account of the fact that they... some of them aren't as effective in all circumstances. Looks like that's a place you could go. Oh, boss battle. Ah, the giant worms. Okay. Maybe I should be a little more careful about firing off uh, more than one shot. I'm assuming they come out in the same order that they go down, so I'm trying to focus my attacks on one. Ah! Frickin' just gotta reload. Okay, one down. Not prepared to attack it. What are these things that it's attacking me with? I hit her right in the head with that. That was a mistake. Should have used heal too. There was no reason not to. In fact, I just wasted a uh, an ATB gauge. I'm gonna assume that this thing, once I get down to just being, oh, they're getting bigger, doing slightly more damage. Okay, yeah, I was assuming that perhaps they got. Uh, they would like enrage as the battle went on and do more damage. I wonder what this barrier spell does. Will that just reduce my damage that I take? I, I mean, I took none there. <laughs> but it was just a touch damage. Wonder how long that's in effect. Yeah, shoot the pavement, Aya. I was out of range. Oh, you know what? I didn't have any PE recharge while that was going on. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. No! Ah, damn it. <laughs> Is it always just going to reappear in the same area? I wonder if I can avoid taking damage by standing right here. Perhaps. Oh, shit, I missed out on those defense pluses. Oh, damn it. Oh. Oh, damn it. Oh, those... I was I was too quick to jump through the damn... I was too quick to jump through the menus. Oh, shit, I should have thrown something away and taken those. Look at all this junk I could have tossed. Some bitch. Some bitch. Okay, I did something a little bit cheating. I went and reloaded the save and trekked all the way back out here just to make sure that I got these defense boosts. See, look, I didn't even manage to get one of them. 
So, what what was it that I picked up? Was it a junk? Was it just a junk? I'll toss a junk. Because I can use these, I can transfer the stats later if I need to. No sense in not having it now. Man, Aya's health is really getting higher. So, uh, yeah, I guess it seems like in the beginning of any light wall, like in a lot of RPGs, in the beginning of any dungeon, you're going to have a harder time getting through it because your character's going to be under-leveled. You move on, though. Uh, she's quite a bit more powerful than she was at the start of this dungeon. No, don't, don't get... Jeez. All right, fine. Get on the stupid wagon. Oh, boss battle. <laughs> I don't have that much, much space to maneuver here. Eve actually expects Aya to take her side in this. <laughs> A little ridiculous, you think? I guess the range advantage of the rifle doesn't really help me here. Oh, geez, how long is that horse going to manage to pull this wagon? Oh, all right. Wow, okay, she's still doing a lot of damage. She's, like, doing 25% of my, or Aya's health per hit. I really should do a better job in avoiding taking damage. Is that the end of it? <laughs> 